All right, guys, you know where we're at. You can see it. I made it back for like two weekends in a row. That's like crazy. Like I said, I've never been to an event one weekend and then get to go to another event. So I'm pretty happy. I've already been out a few times. Um, Z is doing pretty good and I've actually hit the bank. So it's like third gear, probably like 60, 70 miles an hour. So it's not too bad. Like I'm really happy with the way the car is working. But that breakup issue is like, it's still sputtering. Like it gets down towards like half a tank and it does it, it like pulls the sputter and break up. But other than that, she is doing pretty good. But I'm, I'm gonna put some of the clips uh, in after this, but yeah, not too bad for my first time actually trying something like that. <laughs> guys it's actually a couple of days after the event um i didn't get to go back um i was wanting to drive like two days but it is what it is and like i said i kind of got into like a little wee bit of an accident So I'm not gonna make excuses, but the car straightened on the bank and um, it just straightened and hit the little plastic barrier. The damage isn't too bad in the car. Like I said, I'm bummed because I just got done, you know, the car hadn't been put together that long and like I said, I just got done painting it. But you know, it's gonna happen if you're doing, if you're driving. So it is what it is, but I think the damage will buff out. It's not too bad. But you can kind of see it. It doesn't really look like it's scratched. It's more like it's just, scuffed and stuff from the well my course says scratch but looks like it's just dirt and stuff from the um the little plastic barrier or whatever but it did crack the paint right there and up there but this bumper was already kind of screwed up anyway so i'm gonna hit it with a buffer and uh try to fix some of the uh like right there i can probably just like add some paint and wet sand and that kind of stuff but probably not gonna put that much effort into it just because this bumper's already screwed up anyway and like i was saying the car's not perfect it's never going to be perfect and even if it is perfect it's not going to be perfect long if you're driving it and really pushing the limits and try to learn which is what this car is for it's for me to drive and actually learn <laughs> and you know that's what i was saying i was like i've never drifted in third gear before and like it almost felt like i needed a little bit more of a run-up or you know better gear ratio because like I really couldn't get in the good RPM for the bank, so. But anyway, yeah, it's not too bad, guys. Um, 
Gonna be doing a whole lot more driving. I think I'm gonna take the Corvette this Friday if I can come up with the cash to go for the event. I've already got tires and stuff like that, so you know it's not too bad. But as far as the Z goes, in the next video we're gonna probably be fitting some new wheels and tires. Just got delivered some new wheels. Can't wait to see those bad boys on there. Um, the wheels that are on here right now, I guess they're okay, but the fitment's kind of. I don't know, the angle kit is causing it to like hit really bad. So if I go to like full lock, I can almost feel it like stopping that one wheel because it's rubbing so bad and the car will like won't pivot on that wheel. So went with some little smaller wheels front and back. I'll explain in detail in the next video. So I think it's gonna be a pretty good setup. I want to run a square setup that way I can like rotate tires out and it won't be an issue to do it. Like if my front tires start going bad, I can just put those, switch the wheels around and be rolling. <laughs> But that's it for now, guys. Um, like I said, I'll get you updated on the car in the next couple of videos. But for now, I'm going to get this thing up in the air and test fit these wheels. But we'll see you on the next one.